Hello everybody. Alright, I got a short little video for you. This is a kind of a inquiry in ways, because uh, I'd love to hear some comments uh, about this, but uh, give me a second to get this these leads set up. This is a uh, inductive waste, I guess, or it might even be static static waste, supposedly, of my garage here. The lighting, or not, it's not lighting actually. I should say I got the, I unplugged that uh, that security system that is n not even in use in my house, but it's uh, it, I think it has a UPS in it, obviously. So I unplugged it just to avoid any confusion. Um, but I do have the circuit, not circuit, the surge protector strip, and then another surge protector strip down here. And actually, I have a UPS. Let me just, I'll turn this off and see. We'll take a look at the voltage here. See that? 51 volts and then lighting up the neon, so about 56 volts. And this is off the ground. All right? And then it's go the ground line, I should say, not actual ground, because there is no this is improperly grounded. Um, and then the white lead through the mess is going out to the yard over there or outside my at my house, and uh, let me just go over here and turn this off. There we go. That's off. You can see how much it's dropped because of the improper grounding. That was contributing quite a bit of voltage to the to the whole system. That surge surge protector, but I'm still getting 30. Well, f very fluctuating current of 30 30 some volts, and. Uh, of course, the neon goes off. Um, and then if I turn this one off, this is, and, and there's no amperage in this. I mean, there is some. I should say there's some. There's very, like, uh, microamps. So low, I couldn't really read it. Uh, now we're down to a dancing, you know. dancing voltage. It's probably dancing according to the uh, beeps and um, and, the, and the lighting of my uh, UPS, my universal power supply. It has a battery in it too, I'm sure. So, Also, another reason why I wanted to turn that off. But, the point of this video is, when I have my electronics on, turn this on, I can just leave that uh, security system off. It's fine. I'll turn this on. Already 33 volts, right? I'll turn this puppy back on. Fire back up. Jumped up to 50 volts and the neon lit back up. So, there's power uh, kind of just, I wouldn't say going to waste because energy is never wasted, it, but we, we do pay for it, right? <laughs> um, but it is some. There is some inefficiency, according to you know, because of the circuit. The circuit's dumping there. There are over voltages into a ground, and uh, if you don't have a ground, you can actually uh, reclaim some of that energy, kind of like a wastewater system. You know, you have your white water, your gray water, and your black water. So this would be a uh, the reclamation of a little bit of energy, or quite possibly uh, inductive coupling uh, through house mains and wires and all that kind of stuff, you know, the more current that's flowing through it builds up a magnetic field, which induces energy into the other wires that are adjacent to it. Uh, that is another possibility. And nonetheless, there's a little bit of a, you know, EMF, electromotive force, a little bit of back, uh, a little bit of grounding energy, I should say. And so I'm going to play with this and see if I can do anything with it. Again, it's in the microamp scale, but uh, there might be it might be possibility to scale it up, and so I'll probably attempt to do that, and we'll see if I can do anything with it. That's one of the projects I'm working on, along with uh, you know the electrostatic motor here, and um, and uh, re and making a, a a brand new secondary and primary coil for a new, brand new uh, actual Tesla coil, and uh, this is all uglified because I. I uh, I basically overclocked it and ran her into the ground and uh, and a little tip: don't ever use a 
electrical tape, even if you even if you're only dealing with like five kV. I thought it'd be small enough that I it would just it would help and not hinder me, but I was incorrect and I created carbonization from uh, arc over and then it made a conductive layer on the on the secondary. So now my the secondary is kaput, but I will scrap it and recycle it. I'm green like that. But uh, anyways, much love and namaste.